So I've been looking at Rust Analyzer and uh, it's pretty good. There are a lot of good tools to transform code. And one thing I noticed, uh, Merge Imports, uh, is an assist that I really, really liked. And the moment I saw it, I was like, I really need to implement this for split join because uh, this really fits split join to a T. Now, I was surprised to see that there was already some support for manipulating imports. So, like I can actually do this. Um, and you know, this is actually kind of convenient. I mean, sometimes you do want to reformat uh, imports uh, in this kind of way. Um, and thankfully, I didn't have to drop it because what I ended up doing was um, this kind of merge works when you're in the curly brackets, this kind of split. And you can also split things into separate import blocks and merge them back together um, if the cursor is somewhere on, like outside the curly block. So, so that works. Um, it's pretty convenient. I, I like it quite a lot. Uh, one thing to note is that unlike Rust Analyzer, it doesn't work on only two merges. It works on uh, you know several imports at the same time. It basically goes like uh, takes a look at the common prefix of the first two lines and then tries to apply it later. So you can do stuff like even you have this sort of block, it's going to merge up to scdio and it's going to merge these up to uh, the fs. Um, on the other hand, if you have an fs here, it's just going to merge all of them: io read, fs file, and io, um, because the common prefix ends up being std. Um, so that's, you know, for me, this, this works pretty, pretty good, pretty well. Um, I don't think that there is a big problem with this kind of thing. I might eventually add options to allow just sort of merging things individually because this also, you know, could work. Like you could merge this one and then you could hit it again to, you know, to keep merging, to keep joining. Um, it could still work is what I'm saying. And I think, you know, but I think usually you wouldn't have this kind of mix up between IO, FS, IO, uh, you would you know, probably keep things sorted. And even if you don't, um, you're still probably going to keep this uh, in the separate blocks. Um, in terms of why would you even do this? Like, why would you even make this transformation? Well, one example I particularly uh, use very often is um, suppose that I move this kind of function, this, this function over here. And now if I run character build, it's going to tell me, well, first, you need right here. Uh, you need to import it. And second, you're no, you're no longer using it in this file. So there's a warning, so that's not ideal. And what I used to do was sort of copy this line here and then just sort of you know trim it from all the other stuff uh, and then remove this one here, which you know it works, but it's kind of clumsy. Um, it's linear sort of you know it's linear on the amount of uh, modules here so you can have foo and bar and you just have to uh, delete all of them individually. It's not ideal. Um, what I can do now, which is a lot easier, is just sort of split this, uh, delete it, join them back, and that's pretty much it. I, you know, I'm just moving this uh, example, you know, this uh, this this import over to the other file, and uh, I don't even need to uh, delete it. You know, I could just keep it here, depending on what I want to do. Really, the important thing is uh, what you know, what this what this gives it allows me to do is just sort of manipulate uh, imports. Uh, split them up, organize them in different ways. Um, you know, I can merge these together, or you know, and leave these over here, or whatever. Uh, reformat these, sort them, and so on and so forth. Um, uh, and as you know, I, I find it pretty nice. I find it pretty convenient. Split join is not as powerful as Rust Analyzer because it doesn't have the ability to understand the code as well, but it still has uh, you know quite a lot of use cases that uh, at least so far you can't really get from Rust Analyzer. So I think if you write Rust and if you use Vim, uh, you might want to give both of the tools a shot.